Hi everyone, Gnev here. Today I have a special treat for you guys, an old forbidden technique from one of WoW's very own OGs, Creeparian. I'll just show it straight up. What this technique does is allow you to hold your keyboard buttons down instead of constantly having to spam them. It will both increase your DPS and save you from arthritis. Now let me tell you the story behind it. About a year and a half ago, young Gnev was searching for any knowledge he could find about Wrath of the Lich King. I was striving to be the very best, but I just wasn't there yet. However, that was when I saw a familiar face on YouTube and a glorious mustache with it. Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing in here. So today I want to talk about uh, hitting your keyboard and uh, the different ways you can do that and how to optimize it to uh, get the most out of your game. In that video, he shared the secret jutsu, and after testing it out at 4am, I couldn't sleep from the excitement of owning my guildmates in tomorrow's raid. And that is exactly what happened. Unfortunately, that video was put out 9 years ago, and I believe it still needs a spotlight on it, as many people still don't know about it. So how does it work? In my keyboard I have an integrated macro which presses the button I hold 10 times faster than I could press it myself. Here's a short demo in a notepad document. The first one is me spamming my A button as fast as I can and the other one is me just holding the button on my keyboard. So when can this be useful in WoW? I did two tests to prove the value of the macro. In the first one, I spammed Wrath as fast as I could manually on my Boomi for 5 minutes. I truly gave it my best to respect the science, and at the end of the 5 minutes, I had thrown out exactly 267 rats. Here's a short sound clip of how fast I spammed it. The biggest problem was that my fingers and forearms hurt a shitload even after the short test. But then I activated the macro. I just held the key while watching YouTube on my other monitor and after 5 minutes I had thrown out exactly 278 rats. And if you think that a 4% difference or almost 300 DPS isn't that much, then you really shouldn't be playing a DPS. I also didn't get tired and my hands didn't hurt after testing it, which is a great plus for me as it means that I can pop off on all the ads and all the mini bosses without burning out. So why does it work like that? This macro is useful because we as humans can never be consistent as machines. You can have the fastest fingers and the best fingering technique in the world but you'll always make mistakes. I made this picture so I can show you what I mean. Let's say that the red line is the perfect time to press your key, where you don't lose a millisecond from server lag. If you click it once, you can lose a shitload of time you could have used casting. If you spam your key, you can get a bit closer to the line. But can you really compare with this macro? The answer is no. But is it allowed? I've used this system for about a year and a half now on both private servers and retail WoW and they never had any problems with it. In my opinion, the method is very comparable to using steroids in bodybuilding. The morality of it is debatable, but it's obviously very helpful. Your fingers also don't hurt even after playing WoW for 12 hours, which is a big health benefit that might just save you from arthritis. But what if I don't have the option on my keyboard? What you can do in that case is download auto hotkey from the link in the description and input Crips script, which I'll also have in the description. The script is set for the one key, so just make as many as you want for all the keys that you use. Are there any problems with it? There is one problem which I learned how to work with. Look at what happens when I just hold E to move. That really isn't optimal, so I just always move by jumping to avoid it. This isn't a problem with auto hotkey though. One thing I'd like to add is that a shitload of players use this method, but for some reason nobody ever likes talking about it. 
there are also some DPS purists that will look down on it, but they'll all revalue it once they get trashed in the raid and come out with broken pride and arthritis. Anyway, tell me what you thought of it in the comments. Have you tried it and did it work for you? Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see similar ones in the future. I'll see you in the next one.